Hey guys, this is Accounting Nightmare, and we're back with more Let's Play Devil May Cry 2. We're back to Dante. And we're up to Dante's Mission 4. She has many arms but only one heart, and she waits for the hunter deep in the water. And let's see what we can buy. Oh, I did quite a bit of farming, didn't I? Nope, can't upgrade my guns yet. So we'll grab an upgrade for Rebellion. And... Do, 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 let's see. Let's grab a blue orb and a purple orb. And another blue orb. Yeah, that looks good. I'll get all the blue and purple orbs eventually. Alright, that should keep us going for now. Alright, first thing. A secret room. <laughs> Straight off the bat, number six. Oh, these things. Hom rom sir. <laughs> these ones are fire ones. Not that it makes a huge difference. Uh, they do have more health, you might notice. I also trigger because I've got a full trigger and I'm not doing anything with it. So something I forgot to mention before was uh, Dante's three hit combo. If you hold the analog stick from the start of the combo he does this three hit. Which is pretty good actually. It's got some uh, knockback power. Alright, wave two or is there still one left? Nope. Oh, we've got a blue one mixed in there. A oh, how do I pronounce that? Come on. Oh, there's two blue ones. Good. Oh, no, I'm not even going to try that. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> what if these names are actually meant to mean anything? I don't know. Does anyone in the thread know what these names are? Or if they're referring to anything, maybe? Oh, couldn't have. Avoid that, I lost my showtime. One hit, you lose all your uh, style meter. I forgot to mention the style meter earlier on, actually. So it starts off at D, and as you do well in combat, it goes up to C, which is come on. Lost a bit of health here. So it starts at D, don't worry. C, come on. B, bingo. <laughs> A, are you ready? And S, showtime. Just to tell you how well you're doing in combat. Die, you asshole. Good. As you get hit, you lose it. And that bastard's up on the wall. So he's gonna die up on the wall. Yeah. Thank you. Give me my health. Oh, and trigger. Trigger's good. And that was an even room, so we get a... Oh, we get a full blue orb. <laughs> now look at our health. That looks quite nice. Alright, moving on. And that doesn't actually lead to anything, so... <laughs> who cares. Very huge door here, and we can't actually go through it yet. That's quite a bit later in the game. More bastards here to kill. Don't actually have to kill them though. Blue orb. You do have to kill the next group of bastards, which is why I'll skip these guys because I have to fight these guys. Let's go see that uh, rubble there. You have to actually uh, attack it to destroy it and get through. And guess what? <laughs> you can't target it, so you can try to attack it, and that's what happens. Oh, devil me cried. Oh well. I saw someone override the targeting system in a video. It's a Japanese video. I have no idea how he did it. I wish I knew. I really do. Because it was awesome. And it would solve so many troubles. Also, this game has two some time. I can get it to activate. There we go. It's a bit tricky to activate and not <laughs> very easy to control. Yeah, it was it was introduced in this game. 
you have to shoot at something while locked on and then press the analog stick in a different direction of an enemy. It, it's not very good. It's alright. It does actually have some knockback now. So that's pretty handy. Got to be oh, more still coming. Wow, they did not want me to get through that door. Well, that's what I get for uh, picking Dante must die mode, isn't it? That's what I get. I don't want to go too far over there, or these guys will actually despawn and then start spawning all over again. Definitely not what we want. I'm gonna get back over here. Also burn through some of this trigger. And I believe that was it. Let me through. Thank you. Alright, moving on. Now there's actually a blue orb fragment up on the hills here. It's actually all the way up there. It's further up than that. You have to get up to the, that platform up there, then you have to not fall down. There we go. Woohoo! Right, first of all... Ooh, red orbs. Nice red orbs. So we'll go down here, and that's where we need to go. But it's gated off, and... There's actually a red orb fountain down here. So we'll grab that. There might be some red orb fountains that I miss in this game. Because I had to look around and I couldn't find anyone who had catalogued them all. So, who knows. Secret room level 7. Oh, these things. <laughs> so I could, I could miss red orbs and not know about it. So. You know, I haven't ever actually let these things do anything against me. I've just, just slaughtered them. They're pretty damn ugly though, aren't they? Makes some pretty creepy noises too. That bastard is following me, go away. Don't I? You very much. I'll save my trigger for the next wave so I can just rip through them. Wow, that noise they make is really quite creepy. This is like freaking alien now. <laughs> Singer can get, still go through multiple targets, which is good. Oh, I'm about to, about to run out of trigger. Might be in some trouble here. Oh, they grab you. That's what they do. It looks like all they do. <laughs> Aside from having a fair bit of health on this mode. Ah. Can't grab me when I'm triggered, can ya? No. So we've got to get through there. There's a switch up here that'll open up. Might as well grab these red orbs while we're here. But once you hit the switch, the gate actually closes after a short amount of time. So you don't have much time to get in there. So we'll see what's in here. Even more enemies to fight. The Agonoth Innesses again. I actually had a look at their uh, enemy file, and it says that they're 
cages for prisoners. It's a bit of a scary thought. Prisoner cages that have come to life. Huh. I don't know what kind of prisoners, but anyway. I've never actually looked through the enemy files before. Some of them are quite interesting. Others aren't, but <laughs> some of them are interesting. Oh, no, none of that uh, helicopter crap. I've got a showtime. I don't want to lose my showtime. Ooh. Nearly got hit. If you get hit, you go all the way back down to a D. Actually, you go past a D. You have to earn the, even the D again. The game is harsh. But now we get to claim our prize. The Quick Heart. Magic stone with the heart of a running demon beast. Okay. A new heart. Oh, good. No, I won't buy anything right now. There were some red orbs. Oh, and a gold orb. May as well grab that. I don't plan to use any gold orbs, but may as well grab them as we find them. Don't need to fight them again. And let's check out our amulet. So you can see that Quick Heart is on the same row as Aerial Heart, so we've got to pick between them. So we'll go with Quick Heart right now. And yeah, it's quick. Hmm. You could probably guess that yourself though. Now the funny thing with that is you actually get through it without the quick heart. You just <laughs> you just roll like this over and over to move faster and you can get through it before it closes. <laughs> I found that really quite humorous. Ah, hidden red orb. Alright, I might change to the aerial heart. Alright. Because now we've got a boss battle. Cat Gulm. A octopus serpent cobra thing. It's poisonous, you can see the purple crap coming off of it. And it's an annoying boss. I'm gonna say that right now. I try to love this game, I do. And it's bosses like this that annoy me. It's, it punishes you for trying to get close to it. So you can target its head from here and just shoot it to death by hitting the L3 button, switch targets. You can target its tentacles or its head. If you don't know how to switch targets, you end up just targeting the tentacle, which is rather annoying. See, like that. So what you can do with this boss is, um, with Dante's later ranged weapons, he's got a fair bit more punch he can do. But you can destroy a tentacle and then get in there and attack in close range. So that's what I'm going to do right now, to show you guys. If you destroy a tentacle, it actually shoots a big poison cloud at you, then it loses its poison for a few moments. Which lets you get in close. But not for very long at all. So I'm going to trigger when I get in there and do some real damage. With aerial harm, because I love aerial harm. Okay. loses its poison and it's already got its poison back. Not far flu. Here we go. So if we're not if we weren't triggered here we would get knocked on our ass really quick. I'm gonna get out of here. 
And it's got a shield it puts up too, just to force you out of melee range. So if you aren't triggered there, the poison will hit you and you'll get thrown away. Because the slot is a nick in this game, will send you falling on your ass. <laughs> so we did a lot of damage there, but they used up all of our trigger. And now we're pretty much stuck just shooting at the bastard. I think on the lower difficulties it's poison disappears for longer, so you can get in and hurt it a bit longer. But... Uh, it's a bit monotonous on this difficulty. Thankfully I've got a couple topics to talk about. First of all there's a little thing you may know, know of if you've played this game, which is Desperation Devil Trigger. Which is very powerful. I'm going to not use it during my main fights, but I um, might do a couple bonus boss videos every now and then to show how strong it is. Basically, if you trigger when you've got almost no health, like your health is in the red, you'll go into a super devil form, where you do absolutely ridiculous damage. Like if I had desperation triggered right now, I would rip off most of its health. You'd be left with uh, probably a third of a bar, if that. very powerful. You see people abuse it if you um, watch speedruns and stuff. I'm getting my trigger back up, aren't I? And uh, Lucia actually doesn't have a desperation devil trigger, which is interesting. She has a couple special moves she can do in trigger though, which I'll show off. Because they're, they're pretty well hidden actually. You probably only ever do them by accident. Alright, my thumb's getting sore. Desperation trigger is... Actually, I didn't know how to use it properly until I actually went forum hunting and then I discovered you're supposed to hold this and press that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Knock me on my butt. This is the boss that simply does not want you to get close to it. Killer's tentacle. Killer's tentacle when getting close. Um, you can try to sword its tentacle, but normally you'll get knocked on your ass unless you land your hit just perfectly. The other thing I wanted to mention was a really funny news story that I saw. I'm gonna trigger. Really quite funny. There was a. I think it was three guys. They wanted to hold up a bowling alley. So they went in there, they had knives and machetes, and in the next room there was a bikey meeting with 80 bikies. <laughs> yes. They got the shit beaten out of them. Well, a couple of them did. I think one of them managed to get away. Yeah, that must have been scary as hell. <laughs> Oh god, my thumb is sore. Also, another thing in this game is, uh, unlike all the other Devil May Cry's, you can't actually charge your guns. If you hold the gun button, it actually shoots by itself. See, this is it shooting by itself now. But if you tap the button, you go faster. So, no gun charging, sadly. Oh, good lord. I'm going to fast forward this last little bit. Oh god, I'm getting a hand cramp. Yep, epitome of boss design right here, folks. Holy ow. Motorcycle! Out of nowhere. Also, randomly, a shotgun. <laughs> Finally, Dante's first alternate weapon. Right. So, with the motorcycle, we 
jumped over that gap you may remember from mission 3 anyone? remember it? remember the gap where I got the blue orb fragment? yes? no? oh well alright um, Dante's next mission <laughs> it has the best boss in the game I cannot wait for the thread to see it honestly it is hilarious it shall be epic. So please tune in for Mission 5. There will be lots of laughs.